And new for you right now at noon, a former state lawmaker from South Florida appearing in court today after pleading guilty to a perjury charge. It's all part of a plea deal for Representative Daisy Baez. Prosecutors found she did not legally live in her district when she was elected last year. Local 10 News reporter Cheyenne Malone is live with the details of her deal. Cheyenne. And part of that deal, meaning in that that representative would have to resign from her position in District 114 effective last week. And that did happen on November 1st. But let's take you to some video of what happened today inside a Miami-Dade County courtroom. Daisy Baez facing a judge as she learned her fate, pleading guilty to perjury to avoid jail time. This comes after officials say she did not live in the district she was representing and lied about it on her voter registration card, which is against the law. Her attorney is standing firm in her defense. We're here today with Daisy Baez as a private citizen. She apologizes to the community for having mistaken her obligations in changing her voter registration early, earlier than she should have done. But we want to make clear that she did not at any time vote under any registration that was not her correct registration. Well, State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle releasing this statement in response, saying in part, deliberately swearing to false information essential to your role as a state legislator, as alleged in this case, eats at the credibility of our voting and political systems. I believe that there can never be a good reason for such action. Well, this map gives you a snapshot of District 114, the area Baez represented. Prosecutors say Baez changed her voter registration address from a home in Coral Gables, which is outside of that district limit, to an address inside the district so that way she could seek office as she did so we know. Well, she, Baez, is on probation for at least one year, according to the judge. And during that 12-month period, she is not able to run from office or for office rather, but we do know the state attorney's office is willing to respond and giving the reaction later this afternoon. We'll bring that to you on Local 10 News and our evening shows. Reporting live in Miami, Cheyenne Malone, Local 10 News.